Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to display local notifications. So how your app can send out notifications to your users. And this is a powerful thing to be able to do and in this video we are going to go over how to do it. So let us start by creating a new Xcode project. I'm going to make it a single view application and name it Naughty Mania. Naughty Mania short for notification mania and now i'm just going to save it on my desktop put it in full screen and i'm going to jump over to the storyboard and i am going to drag in a button now what this button is going to do is it's going to have a simple action and that is it's going to activate the notification so we are going to display the notification after five seconds after pressing that button, which means we're going to press the button, then exit the application, and then we're going to display the notification. Of course, you can have any action or event trigger the notification uh, countdown, but in this case, this is just very simple to do. So I'm going to take my button, I'm going to drag it in, and I'm going to name it action. And it's going to be an action, and I'm going to connect it up, and then let's jump over to the view controller, and get us more space here because now everything is going to happen inside here inside our little handy view controller now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to request the authorization to display push notifications because as you know if you have downloaded an app they can't just start sending you notifications they have to ask for your permission and in order to do that we have to set up something that is goes just like this so it's n or i mean first let's see before i forget that we have to import user notifications then we can set it up by writing un user notification center dot current see current dot request authorization and we are going to use this one and what we are going to request using is you can request the authorization to use an alert to use a sound but just so we have all the options available i'm just going to say we want to display an alert we want to be able to display a sound and we want to be able to display a badge so the app icon then as a completion handler we are going to put in let's see it doesn't auto complete okay then i will just have to do like this so bam 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 and then in here we're just going to write did allow and then error and then in and of course if you want to you can inside here you can then check if the user did allow it or not so you can do like this let's see and then you can say um, if did allow you can do something if it didn't allow you can do something else but this is just how you set up the ask, the asking of the permission so this basically now will ask us for permission to send us notifications so let's try to launch the app and what you will now find is that we get that nice message message that you have all seen before that asks us hey can we send alerts to your device so let's check it out so as you see here we go notimania would like to send you notifications notifications may include alerts sounds and icon badges just as we specified here um, these can be configured in settings so just allow these for now else uh, completing this tutorial will be hard so just click on allow and now we have allowed notifications on our device and we won't see this message again um, because now we have allowed it so don't expect to see it every time you relaunch the app then we are going to create the notification itself and that is that's also pretty straightforward it's just like creating a map on annotations if you've done that before it's just configuring the, the notification and then adding certain attributes to it so it's going to be let content is equal to you and mutable notification content then the content uh, dot title here we can specify the title uh, i'm going to pretend that this is a um, timer so i'm just going to say the five seconds are up then we can say content dot subtitle 
they they are up now and content dot body so here you basically see that you can specify text in each of the sections of the notification so you can give it a title a subtitle and a body now I'm not too creative with this one, so um, I'm just going to fill it out. So just that you see that it's possible to have a title, a subtitle and a body. So uh, the five seconds are really up just like that. Then I'm also going to say content dot badge is equal to one. This is just to display the icon badge. So the icon of the app in our notification. And then I'm going to define a trigger. So here we have our annotate or our notification ready to go. So our notification is all set up. Now we have to display it. And for in order to do that, we need a trigger that's going to trigger the notification. So we're going to say let trigger, and it's going to be of type UN time interval uh, notification trigger. And then we can set the time interval and if it shall repeat. Now I'm going to set the time interval to five seconds and repeat, no. I'm going to set that to false. You can let it trigger. Um, I think 60 seconds is the minimum, but you can not let it You can let it repeat. But right now in this example, I'm going to click the button. Then it's going to take five seconds before the notification displays and it is not going to repeat. Then we're going to create the request in order to request the uh, authorization to display our notification. And that isn't as uh, complicated as it sounds. It's simply saying let request is equal to UN notification request. So here is the re notification request with the identifier. <clears throat> so here you can give an identifier to your request. I'm just going to name it timer done. Then you are going to give it a content, which is the variable or the constant that we defined up here, which we gave the name content. And then the trigger is going to be our trigger that we defined above, above. Nice. And then we are going to add it. So we are simply going to say you and notification center. So this handles all of the notifications. So you and notification center. There we go. Um, dot current and then we're going to add this request that we just created which was our request and then completion handler I'm just going to say nil so what we have basically done here is we have created the notification then we have given it a title a subtitle a body a badge which means the app icon then we have created a trigger that's going to trigger the display of the notification then we have created the request. So the request to show our notification. And then we have added it uh, to our notification center, which handles all of the job of displaying the notification. So we have created it, then triggered it, then created it as a request and then displayed it. So let's launch the app. And now when we click the button and exit the application, and that's an important step, exit the application, uh, because the notification won't display if you stay in the app. So I'm just going to click this one and then I'm going to click the home button and then I'm going to wait and then I'm going to get the notification right there. So here we go. Here is my notification and when I tap on it, I am taken to the application. So this is how you create a notification. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add certain actions to the notifications so that you can give the user the option to answer yes or no, or give you a different answer depending on the notification. So that's going to be a lot of fun, but hopefully you also enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel, and then I will see you back in the next video.